In the wheel? Eh? Is it money or the box? Box. 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 <laughs> Saw the pills on the table for your unrequited love. I would be nothing. Oh, is it? <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Welcome to another exciting session where we celebrate Devin Thomas. Devin Thomas is the founder and owner of Neptune Design. Devin is also a an author a YouTuber and certified Google marketer. Devin, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. So tell us a little bit about Devin. What do you celebrate about yourself? And maybe just what drives you? Okay, so a lot of things drive me, but what I celebrate about myself is just my complete unwillingness not to be normal whatsoever <laughs> in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Uh, also what drives me is I want to take over the world, I want to dominate, I want to do a lot of things with Neptune Design and take my company as far as possible, to as much people as possible. Okay, so this sounds exciting, dominate the world as Neptune Design, what yes. does that look like? That would be us having a client in every single country in the world. What do you do as Neptune Design? We do social media marketing, so basically it can be almost anything, but it's all about connecting businesses with people mm -hmm. and making the relationships more personal. Because I think in this corporate world, everything is so formal, <laughs> so stagnant that, I don't know, real connections are lost. When last did you buy something from a company and actually feel valued? Mm. That just doesn't happen anymore. This is so true. How did you come up with the concept? I mean, so obviously from the passion of loving to engage and interact with real humans, yeah. I suppose, but what, what gave you the idea? How did you come up with the concept of not just Neptune Designs, but wanting to be a marketer or social media marketer? I think it was a weird journey. Um, I used to do a lot of websites for people. Mm -hmm. So what would happen is the guy would show up, say, Devin, I want a website. Mm -hmm. So we do the website for him and after that it's a like, Devon thank you very much for the website and then nothing would happen after that like you would ask him did your website uh, is your website working are people visiting your website he said I've got no idea mm -hmm. all I know is now I have a website and I sat with this dilemma every time I sold the website to somebody that they weren't actually using the website as a tool okay. they were just they just had a website for the sake of having one like a like a business card like a business card <laughs> or a printer or a fax machine okay so it's kind of like having a ferrari and just not driving it at all it's a collectible it's just a collectible it's just something to have so i said to them okay so what what what's your next step you've got this beautiful website mm -hmm. Um, you've spent the money, so uh, are you going to have content? Are you going to market your website? What are you going to do next? And they were like, no, we just we just need, needed a website. So I was like, okay, this is weird. And then I started realizing that actually, you know what? People don't know what to do after they get the website. They mm. think it's just a means to an end. They don't know that there's a whole new world of possibilities that they can explore mm -hmm. especially with social media mm. because if you've got a website you've basically got a way to communicate to the world while you're sleeping and people aren't using that so that's when i decided okay this is my new mission in life i'm going to take these people under my wing and i'm going to teach them about social media marketing ah and that brings us to your book so this is the book that you've written. Is it more on <laughs> uh, your your social media uh, marketing skills? What what's what's in your book? Tell us a little about your book. Okay, so when I was starting out in marketing, I used to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads and Twitter ads, and I was spending this money. And this was in US dollars. It wasn't cheap, and I was spending all of this money, and nothing happened at all. Didn't get any leads. I got new clients, but the new clients weren't, they, they were just any types of clients, clients that I could easily get otherwise. So I thought to myself, no, there has to be a higher level to this. Mm. And I started doing research and more research, and I found out that 
every single thing that I was taught about Facebook ads and Twitter ads and advertising in general mm -hmm. was completely wrong. Okay. So I said, instead of me explaining that to this person and the next person and the next person, I'll write a book instead. Okay. It was the first book I've ever written, but I said, yeah, that would be a starting point. And how's your audience receiving the book? Actually, funnily enough, the people that I've never thought would read the book are actually reading the book. Like my father, hey. who, me and my father just, I don't know, we're just polar opposites, but my, even my father picked up the book. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so, um, so far I've heard nothing but good things. And, and is it generating leads and, and uh, bringing an interest of new clients? That you know, it is bringing people that are keen to learn more about it, mm -hmm. but not to the amount that I would have wanted it to. Okay. But I think always as an entrepreneur, you always have you always set your expectations up here. Yes. So you kind of have to say, okay, it's going to take a while. The market still has to warm up to the idea of you, Devin Thomas, and your book, and then. It'll wow. interested, not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it got to a stage whereby it, it's like as a salesman mm -hmm. or as a previous salesman, you're used to rejection, but not on this volume, on this level. Right. And then eventually you start actually being humble and realizing that, hey, if I'm going to succeed at this business thing, it's going to take a lot more than mm -hmm. just showing up to somebody's door and saying, hey, I'm here and I do this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that, that was my... Biggest, I'd say obscurity. Was, I know you asked three all, things, but, but I think that was, it embraced all of the it things. It encompasses everything. Okay. Yeah. And if you had to change something, I mean, change something to to then say this is what success looks like for Neptune Designs. What what would that look like? In the early days, mm -hmm. we were about making as much profit turnover. We were focused on all those business key metrics, like you have to have your profit margins, you have to have Passive income, you have to, you know, you have to do all of these different businessy things. Yeah. And now, funnily enough, what success looks like to me is I just want to, I just want to be known more and I want to know more people. Mm. I just want to make Neptune Design known to more people because it's funny how life works. Um, when you're focusing on the profit, when you're focusing on the products, when you're focusing on your processes and all of this you're not focusing on the people that matter the most. Mm -hmm. And that's the client. Right. So now I try and build a relationship with everyone via YouTube, via social media, with everyone first. Mm -hmm. I try and serve my customers before I try and sell to my customers. Okay. So that's what I would have done earlier on if I could go back in the time machine. If you have any time machines at hand, let me know. Well, there's a time machine for you. The time machine is so for aspiring entrepreneurs that would, well, what would you give them for advice? Because you, you've gone through the journey, you've experienced obscurity, you, mm -hmm. you, you've survived and you're niche designed, you're an author and you're doing well for a business. Now, someone says, so what, what are the things I need to know? What, what are the takeaways? What are the, you, you, you talk about also being a person that wants to shift minds positively influence others um, in your message what is that what is that for aspiring entrepreneurs so if a young entrepreneur were to come up to me and they would ask me like what should they do mm -hmm. or I would focus more on their mentality and I would tell them I'd firstly tell them that they should never let anyone talk them out of their dreams okay. and that that has happened to me at an early age Mm -hmm. And it's something that I had to overcome, but I think that the young people in this country are definitely suffering a lot because of the environments that they grow up in. Mm -hmm. And you know, we say crazy things like, I want to be a graphic designer, or I want to be a YouTuber, or I want to be a blogger. And your parents are like, are you crazy? <laughs> Get a job, <laughs> yeah. become an admin clerk. Or become a lawyer and you know that's it it's like the set preordained path mm. and what I tell a young person is don't let anybody talk you out of your dream mm. that's number one um, number two would be um, never say that you don't have any resources okay. I also hear this a lot where other people say I want to start a business but I don't have money I want to start a business but I don't have this but I don't have this mm. you are the only resource that you need that's it that's it that everything that you need mm -hmm. is in here so if it's money 
If you develop your sales skills enough, you can get the money from somebody else. If it's resources, if you know what you're talking about, you can get somebody to give you the resources. Mm. But the first thing that needs to happen is you need to see yourself as a resource and then the resources will come. And lastly, would be all the cheesy stuff. Don't do drugs. Don't be like me. I think it's quite serious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that sort of stuff, yeah. Okay. But, but like yeah. keep your head straight in the game and stay focused is, is what I'm hearing. You can't get successful if you're not sober, I think, mm-hmm. would be something along the lines okay. of what I'm trying to say. Fantastic. I mean, so great insights shared there, Devin. And if people wanted to get your book or know more about Neptune Designs, how do they find you? Where do they find you? Okay, so you can reach us at um, neptunedesign.co.za. Um, you can also get our YouTube channel at Neptune Design as well. Um, just look for the little logo of a planet, and that's us. And the free ebook is also available on neptunedesign.co.za, so it's all there, it's ready for. Awesome! I can't wait to get my free ebook. Yeah. Devin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you for having me. I hope you get to dominate with Neptune Designs. Take over. I do too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.